turn that off, me. Is there a reason why? Yeah. No, I'm not. Turn it off. You're paid with tax money. I don't care. What did I tell you? Get it off. Are we breaking a law by having that on you? Yeah, right now. What, what law? law? Privacy. Turn it off. You're a public officer. I'm talking You're asking about for our ID. Yeah, I am. Breaking our privacy. Let me see your ID. I'll give you my name. I don't have an ID. Are you harassing them for a reason? No, I'm running. You got a problem with it? Yeah, it's unconstitutional. Hey, DK. Send me some backup over here. I'm at a uh, County Road 36 and 24. No, they're good. Yeah, they're good. It'll... Yeah, I imagine. I'll give you a call here shortly. Yeah. Okay, bye. You guys have a good night. Could you just share what she told you about, about me? I can't. <laughs> I don't do nothing on tape, man. All right. Are you one of those that was an inside job, guys? Uh, we've heard from you now. Now you hear from me. I'll let you be rude and interrupt me. Scream at the top of your lungs. Nine eleven was not an inside job. It was an Osama bin Laden job with 19 people from Saudi Arabia. They murdered 3,000 Americans and other farmers, including over 200 other Muslims. So we heard from you. You go away. It's an honor to me to be heckled by people who are afraid to hear the truth. Thanks, guys. Oh gosh, you guys are everywhere, aren't you? Hi, how are you? Do you support the victims' families' call for a new investigation of 9/11? Get a check there. Hillary, can I get a picture of you? Mrs. Clinton, thank you so much. Mrs. Clinton, will you support the victims' families' call for a new investigation of 9/11? Who am I? You know, oh my God! I haven't worked. Will you make an issue to help the 50,000 sick and dying first responders of 9/11? First one. So. You'll be fabulous. Good luck, Hillary. Did you attend the Bilderberg Conference in Ottawa? Thank you for the right thing. Hillary, signed by Bill. How about David Rockefeller's funding of your campaign and the fact that you vacation with the Bush family? How can we trust a candidate like that? The North American Union, Mrs. Clinton, I know you can hear me. Please, some comment. I know you can hear me, ma'am. Please, any comment. Look, look. This is the deal, folks. All these people that are paranoid about the world come and scream at me everywhere. You said you would go if I answered the question. All right, here's the answer. I happened to be in Europe then on my way to Russia. I was invited to go to Bilderberg by Vernon Jordan. Senator Clinton, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you Can doing? Can I ask you a quick question while you sign that? Sure. It was reported in Ju June of 2006. You attended a meeting in Ottawa, Canada, the Bilderberg Group. Can you comment on that? What do you, what's going on at the Bilderberg meeting, and what do you guys talk about up there? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. I was reported you were up there, and people saw you up there. I just want to know what you guys talk about and meet about up there. Uh, sir, I don't Why know. Why are what they you're such I... top secret meetings? I have no idea what you're talking Your about. Your husband went to a Bilderberg meeting, too. Yeah. I'm just wondering. I'm not being rude or anything. No, I, I, I just, I I just want to know what happens at these that. meetings. Well, uh, since I wasn't there, I have no idea. Okay, okay thank you, Senator. <laughs> people who emerge as leaders. They're not always nice people, in fact, uh, but perhaps the majority of them are not. One for the gentleman in black shirt. Chairman Allen Greenspan. Thank you. Thank you for destroying our country with, with the okay, private banks. Right, right. The Thank federal you. private Thank you. banks. Thank Why are you Thank destroying you. our country with the federal private banks, sir? Please. Why are you destroying sir. our bank? Sir. Why are you destroying sir. our sir. bank? Sir. 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 We know what you're doing to our country. We know what you're doing to our country, sir. Let's go. Why are you making a Let's private go. bank? Let's go. Let's it, go. Why is the Federal Reserve a private Let's bank, sir? Let's move it. Sir? Let's move it. Why is it a private it. bank? This way. This guy's a criminal. This way. He's responsible this for genocide. Way. He is this killing way. our country. He's talking the way down. You guys need to know this guy is not American. He's destroying our country. He's not a true American. He's a private bank.
Your new world order scum! We don't want you here! Give it to the new world order! We don't want you here! Shame on your sellout souls! Shame on you! You sell out! You know, just a message to everybody out there, any politicians watching, yeah, you know, you do something wrong, you better be, you better be out watching out for change, because we're out there. I was wondering how uh, you can attempt to justify the attacks of the fall towers and the fall building seven as uh, two separate terrorist incidents as opposed to just one. Uh, easy to justify uh, when you have two planes coming to two separate towers at two distinct time frames, bringing the two towers down independently. Uh, you can call that anything but two events. Uh, and, uh, and so I will simply tell you what the, thing, the case got resolved uh, based upon the forms, the specific forms, and what those specific policies held in their language as being controlled in one event or two events. And those companies have been declared to have signed up to one form, to one event policy. Well, I can tell you, I'm really thrilled that we're able to post. Why don't you tell them how you pulled the building? And all I can tell them how you pulled the building. Enjoy. Tell the truth, Larry. Tell the truth, Larry. Do you support the family members' demand for a new investigation into 9/11? Bilderberg, you're Bilderberg scum, man. We know that. Work for the CFR. Bilderberg, New World Order, you're not getting one, sir. Do you support the family members' demand for a new investigation into 9 11? Go meet David Rockefeller. Over to the nation, all over the world, and it's only building. And wherever you walk, wherever you go, be ready to be confronted on your crimes and your lies. Do you like being a puppet, sir? Do you like being a puppet for the New World Order? Oh, stop. Get a life, <laughs> huh? Oh, <laughs> he just enjoys life. Hey, you gonna talk about 60,000 people? You gonna talk about 60,000 people? Yes, we don't want to hear this nonsense. You gonna talk about 60,000 people that you allowed to die? You allowed them to die. You told them three days later they can go out there when the, when the air was promoted, huh? Oh, shush. All right, uh, Paul, Paul, we gotta get back. Mr. Giuliani, oh, Paul, Paul. regarding the World Trade Center collapse, sir. Um, hey, sir, regarding the World Trade Center collapse, you, we caught you on camera the other day where you made a mistake and you lied to the American people, sir. Would you like to clear that up and get back with it's us today? Private. Many people think Giuliani is a hero of 9-11, when in reality, he's one of the criminals of 9-11. During the recovery effort, when the first responders were dying on that pit, he took everybody off on Saints Day because the gold of Nova Scotia was discovered. Then he implemented a scoop and dump policy where he took family members' remains and threw them into garbage fields instead of Island. People don't notice, but 45% of the victims' family members are still missing today. The fact that any government official can play God with human life, they should be in jail. They should go to jail. We were all here seven years ago, and the government turned their back on us. Please help us now. The federal government has still not assisted me and the thousands of other rescue workers. The federal government two weeks ago cut 100, 100 million dollars from the budgets for health care. And that is a disgrace. It's despicable that they would do that to us. I have a much more limited lifespan because of this, and so do somewhere around 40,000 other rescue workers. But how many New Yorkers were also exposed? Where'd all that dust from the roofs go? This could be one of the greatest public health disasters in history. And with AIDS and hepatitis C and cancer and autism, we don't need that. Christy Todd Whitman testified in front of Congress that the air was safe. Is that why when I had a lung test two weeks ago, they found black fluid in my left lung? Is that why my right lung is full of blood right now? Is that why I take 18 medications because the air was safe? The Mount Sinai study proves in, to every clinician in the country and to every governing medical body in the United States, the Public Health Service, the EPA, everybody, that we were exposed to severe levels of toxicity. The fact that no 